Not every video needs to be some sort of controversial opinion or overview or shit post. Uh, sometimes a video just needs to explain what the hell is going on on this channel you subscribe to. So let's put some things out in the open and be clear about some topics that have been floating around my channel. One of the things longtime subscribers might be concerned about is whether or not I'm becoming a Warframe channel, and I'm happy to let you guys know that, well, no I'm not. Locking myself into one game for content sounds like a nightmare. I tried doing it with Call of Duty back in the day, and that's why I'm an FPS channel. But I'm happy to say that Warframe has joined the channel. And you might be thinking that, well, you also said Ghost Recon was joining your channel and you barely post anything about Ghost Recon. That's because I've just put so much time into Wildlands that I currently don't really have a lot of reasons to play it. I don't enjoy playing it as much as I used to, and that's kind of the sad fact. But Ghost Recon Breakpoint is coming out, and that game will be a part of this channel as long as I enjoy it. If I don't enjoy it, then it might be in occasional streams, or it might just be occasional compilations, but if I am really getting myself into Breakpoint, then there will be more videos about that as time goes on. Wildlands is one of my favorite co-op games to play, and hopefully Breakpoint scratches the itch that, well, Wildlands being boring has left me with. Anyway. When it comes to Call of Duty, you might think that I am tired of it, but I'm really not. Taking a break, yeah, but not because I'm really tired of it, mostly because Black Ops 4 is frustrating, but I do want to do some more Call of Duty stuff uh, in the coming months, and I have a little goal for myself. I want to prestige at least one more time in three Call of Duty games that I never got to max prestige in. I don't think I'm going to go for max prestige in all of them, that would take way too long, but I want to prestige at least one more time in Modern Warfare Remastered, Call of Duty World War II, and Infinite Warfare. I feel like they at least deserve one last prestige. I think I'm like halfway through my prestiges, or like halfway to my next prestige on each of those games. So it shouldn't be terribly hard and it'd be fun to stream and make some videos about those games again before Modern Warfare comes out. And then when Modern Warfare comes out, you guys know me. I take it slow, I soak in everything, I live stream it, I make my opinions. Uh, over time, and then, you know, the rants come out, and the praising comes out, and the condemning comes out, my, my anger and my happiness, my should you buy, my first impressions, all of that will be coming out soon. Well, not soon, after the game comes out, which is actually relatively soon, all things considered, so, yeah, Modern Warfare will be covered, Call of Duty will be played, and Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be on the channel, and this is kind of an official thing that Warframe is joining the channel. I'm just enjoying this game too much, and all of my friends are enjoying it too much for me to just let it lay by the wayside. It's not gonna just be a guilty pleasure of mine, I want to incorporate it with the channel, and also because the community is so welcoming of a new Warframe posting YouTuber that I honestly, like, I already have an audience for Warframe, and after doing Siege videos for as long as I have, despite my breaks, I, st I don't even have as big of a Siege audience as I do a Warframe audience in like one-tenth, one-twelfth of the time. So that brings me to Siege. Rainbow Six Siege will be seeing less action on this channel unless there's something I want to praise or complain about, or if I have a couple of really good play sessions I might share compilation videos again, but I'm sorry. This is the part of YouTube I don't like talking about, but you guys speak with your views, and I'm not blaming you, you can watch whatever you want, but I can see my Siege videos not being well received in terms of views, likes, and interactions, and sharing, and all that. And because Siege is kind of a frustrating game sometimes, it doesn't make it super worth it for me to grind it and then post and edit compilations. You know, and I've done so many different types of compilations, heavily edited shit posty ones, I've done you know, less edited, more just raw ones, and really no one seems to care about them. And I'm sorry to say, if you're one of the people that do like it, that's fine. And I do want to post them occasionally, but my focus cannot be on Siege content. It's not because you guys are toxic or you guys weren't watching them. It's kind of a combination of there's there seems to be less interest than I would prefer, and the videos aren't exactly the easiest for me to make because I'm not an exceptional player and the community doesn't really look kindly. So yeah, basically, you know, not getting a lot of views, some toxicity, whatever. I still enjoy playing Siege with my buddies and there will be Siege content on this channel, but yeah. Uh, also one nail I want to put into a coffin is I'm not posting Red Dead stuff. I'm going to be really clear here and I hate just sticking this into this channel update. Red Dead Redemption 2 kind of lost my interest. It was great when it first came out and I enjoyed playing it. It was such a breath of fresh air in a lot of ways, but 
there's nothing I can make content on it with. I, I don't want to make Red Dead videos, and I know I gained a lot of subscribers for my Red Dead videos, and my streams for Red Dead actually did pretty good. I hate it's online, and it's story has kind of run dry for me, and I'm sorry, I'm just, it's not something I think I'm going to be putting on this channel. So, I hate to say this, but if you subscribed for Red Dead Redemption content back in the day, you might be pretty disappointed. And when it comes to games I'd like to start live streaming more besides Warframe, although Warframe is my favorite game to stream right now, Minecraft Survival Mode, I don't really want to like do a bunch of mods and stuff, maybe a pretty texture pack, but we'll see what happens, but Definitely, I want to do a Minecraft survival mode, just solo. I don't want to do online with people, I don't want to like run a realm. I don't even want to be backseat gamed, I just want to play Minecraft and chill out on stream with you kids. I also really want to beat Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker and Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain, and I just keep putting it off, and so that will also be on my streams. Kingdom Hearts 3 Critical Mode is really fun to stream because when I die it's very very frustrating and I'm sure people love watching me freak out. So yeah, Metal Gear Solid and... Kingdom Hearts. I want to stream those games and have fun, you know, talking to you guys while I stream those games. Also, I'll be streaming the Modern Warfare Remastered, Call of Duty World War II, and Infinite Warfare grinds occasionally. I'll be recording half of it and just playing with my friends and then streaming the other half of it. So there'll be a good amount of Call of Duty content coming in the next couple of months before Modern Warfare's release. And then of course when Halo Reach comes to the MCC, I look forward to streaming my playthrough of that. I don't know if I'm just going to play it on regular and just kind of run through it and look at how pretty the, the resolution and frame rate is, but, or if I'm just going to like go on Heroic and take a little bit longer with it. Legendary by myself doesn't sound very fun, but Heroic I would do. And I'd also would like to do some Halo Reach multiplayer lobbies with people. I think that would be a lot of fun. So I have like an open lobby for subscribers to come in and probably kick my ass because I'm sure some of them will be better at Halo than I am, but I don't care. It's Halo Reach. I'll have fun. And last thing in this update is what about Battlefield? Um, I haven't had any positive feelings towards Battlefield recently. You guys have seen me make videos trying to say nice things about Battlefield 5 and trying to get into it, but I, I, I can't get into Battlefield 5. You guys know my opinion about Battlefield 1. If you've been subscribed for long enough, I'm just not into it. Um, Hardline, I went back to it and tried to play with my buddy, and I just I ended up feeling bored and, and didn't care. There's so many grinding walls that are still there for me. I guess I didn't make as much progress as I, as I thought I did, so Hardline's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and the net code, I don't know what it is about it, it just didn't hold up for me. The time to kill seems wildly inconsistent. Either way, that leaves Battlefield 3 and 4, and I really only want to play those games on PC, because after I played them on PC, I don't want to play them on console, because on console they feel like clunk shit, and they're very, very fuzzy, and I'm not a fan of them. And then, all my unlocks, though, are on console, and on PC, there's so many grinding walls ahead of me. There's so many things I feel like I need to unlock and progress towards. And so, Battlefield's kind of in a null state. So, I'm sorry there's going to be kind of a Battlefield content drought on this channel for a bit, but when Battlefield 5 gets its big updates and the Pacific Theater, you can bet your butt I will be covering it. So, all of this being said, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about the direction of the channel, just kind of being, you know, Call of Duty, and then Ghost Recon, and Warframe, and some Siege. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about games I should stream. Um... I really like streaming, but I do want to make one thing clear here at the end. Please stop coming into my streams and telling me what to do, and please stop coming into my streams and telling me to play a different game. Please, for the love of God, stop doing that. If I'm streaming something, I'm enjoying it my own way. Streaming's kind of more stressful than some of you might realize, maybe that's just for me, but I have to be having fun, and if I'm constantly being berated, I'm not going to have as much fun. That being said, a lot of helpful tips have come from the Warframe community. Just stop pushing me to do story quests. Just leave the spoilers out of my chat and just let me do it when I can. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And yeah, there's the One Booms channel update that I do like maybe four times a year. And I should do probably more of these like once or twice a month because my channel is a little bit in flux constantly because new things are interesting me all the time. Are interesting me all the time. Anyway, see you when I see you guys. Goodbye.